There's a lady here who uh, has an organization which I want all of us to see and meet. Uh, she's been doing a video and everything. So we asked that, Peter, Peter, can you sit right here so you can get off your feet? Yeah, that's not good for you. Okay, great. Slide right down and let his wife sit right next to him. But thank you. So I wanted her to come, but she said she was coming as rape to domestic violence. That's a big issue. Uh, domestic violence is not only uh, uh, violence against uh, females, it's also violence against males. But, uh, and I can't stand nobody who uh, do that kind of stuff. So please come and have a few words. Uh, that was a good way for me to put it. <clears throat> so take about two, three minutes and uh, she's doing a video. She has a magazine out. There's a lot of things going on. She's part of the SCLC. There's a lot of different approaches that we're, we're taking, so that's very important. I want to thank Mount Sinai. Before, uh, look, all this stuff that's going on, the clothes and everything, the church, the officers, all this, the school supplies, VTOS is here, so we'll talk about that a little bit later. Good evening. All right now. Oh, you can do better than that. Good evening. I'm excited to be here on today to raise awareness for domestic violence. Domestic violence here in Jacksonville alone is the number one crime in our city. So me being a, a personal victim of domestic violence, and I also found myself in relationships to where I was you know, fighting as well um, as, a, as a woman, um, I think it is very important that we begin to come together and we raise awareness about it. Um, we become educated on what domestic violence is and I'm seeing even in our smaller children um, when it comes to the bullying, um, kids are warring against each other and, and the Holy Spirit put in my spirit this morning the scripture in James, where does these wars come from among you? And many times when we see domestic violence, which is a crime, um, it always stems from someone getting someone not getting what they want. And that's what happens in relationships. When someone's not happy, we fight. Rather we fight physically or we fight, we play those mind games. All of it is abuse. And a lot of times our kids are affected by it. Um, people are you know, physically hurt. Um, people are dying. People are committing suicide. So uh, with that being said, my personal experience, um, me being a, a believer in, in Jesus Christ, I've been given a mandate uh, to start a foundation which started about um, in 2008. And our organization, we, we are an educational source um, for our community and ultimately our nation to raise awareness on what domestic violence is. And we also have intervention programs of how we can stop domestic violence. So what I ask of you today, those of you who are on our social media, uh, we talk about so many things about what, who, what this person is doing and what they're not doing. Let's talk about what's affecting our children uh, because that's what is most dear to our hearts. And, and let's raise awareness about what is happening in our city. Um, the DIP Foundation, we can be found on Facebook. We're also on the website. Our website is www.dipfoundation.org. We ask that you will go on there and if you could participate uh, in any of our events, uh, which we're going to start doing something and on Monday nights we have flyers for that and you would also go and like our Facebook page this way it gives you information on what's going on and the issues in this community I just want to thank you so much for your time and let's work together and make this city violence free thank you yes. thank you.